be honest, like, you know, it was just, just about me being in shape. You know, I, just, I just made sure I came in the best shape of my life. You know, and you can see my body, you know, everything is different. Um, like I said, you know, skills pay the bills, man. Like, I don't feel like he has no type of skill. I think he's a one a one way fighter, you know, he fights the same with every fight. Um, you know, he comes forward, he's a tough guy, he punches hard, you know, but I punch hard too and I can box, so that's gonna make the difference in the fight. Yeah, I watched all the, I watched like a lot of his fights. And um, you know, he just got punched on like a punching bag for like ten rounds, you know, so yeah, and, and even like when he fought Sims, you know, if Sims would have threw more punches, if Sims would have boxed, Sims boxed good, the boxing is, was, was messing him up, but he didn't throw enough punches. If he, as soon as he, he was letting his hands go, he was putting, he was stopping and good on his tracks, you know, so for a guy like me, like a box anchor punch, you know, it's going to be a major factor in the fight. It's not really in your opinion, does it make more sense to just keep on getting lead around and like you were saying, you know, you got 16 first round knockouts and you don't get a chance to really kind of build yourself, I guess, you know, for the right way. Do you just want to keep on getting these, you know, these rounds and then eventually put them down there? Yeah, you know, um, but, you know, it comes with boxing, man. Like, you know, this guy's durable. Um, You know, he comes forward. So, for me, it's like, I think it's a great fight, man. That's why we chose him. You know, Puerto Rican Day weekend, you know, it wasn't like, it's not a guy that's going to run. You know, he's not going to run around in circles. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to get scared to get punched. He's going to want to come and fight. So, that was the best thing for us was to get a guy that's strong, that's durable. You know, possibly make me go rounds, but also look good and get a great win. Um... You know, I wasn't happy, you know, with the performance, you know, then, you know, I, obviously I came back from a, from a, from a torn bicep within four or five months, you know, and that's a, a year and a half, a year to a year and a half recovery, you know, and a lot of fighters don't take a fight within five months, you know, and then um, I had problems too before the fight, you know, with my, with my elbow hurt, and, you know, people don't understand that when you're, when you're, when you're focusing on a, on an arm, right, that goes completely dead, and to try to bring it back, you know, you focus on certain things. We was focusing on the bicep, you know, but we didn't really focus too much on the, on the tricep, you know. So there was a lot of things that was that, that happened to us before the fight. You know, I didn't want to pull out the fight, so we, we kept it going. But, um, you know, like I said, man, no excuses. Like I said, we had a fight after the fight. Um, you know, I'm just happy we got the unanimous decision. Let's, let's share. Let's see um, what was it like to train in uh, Puerto Rico? And also, was this your first time training outside of the United States? Uh, yeah, no. Well, yeah, yeah. Um, Puerto Rico was the first. Um, I mean, it was amazing, man. You know, I, I wound up staying there because of Tito Trinidad. You know, I went, I went for a run with him two weeks before I started camp. And he was like, um, you know, I think you should stay out here and train. Like, this is your soil. This is your island. You know, the way I did it, you should do it. And, um, you know, it, it'll create more of a buzz for you. So I just listened to him, and I stood there for eight weeks. Got him. Um, you said that filling the, the shoes of legends that have fought at MSG, uh, other headliners, uh, you said it's not an easy task, but how have you been holding up? Has that motivated you? Has that put more pressure? Have you yeah. been holding up? Nah, it's, motiv it's, not, it's no pressure, man. Like, and if it is pressure, you know, you know, a diamond, you know, got to go through the rough, you know what I'm saying? So for me, it's like, it's actually a blessing. Like, I look at it like, you know, God blessing me, man. And, uh, you know, I know the shoes is not, it's not easy to fulfill, you know, Tito and and Porto made a major impact in Puerto Rico, you know, so my goal is to do the same, you know, just to bring back that fire that Puerto Rico had before. And uh, when you had guys like that in your camp, uh, Tito Trinidad and Miguel Porto, like what are some of the things that you feel like, how does how that help you to improve your game? Um, you know, they, they know I could box, they know I could punch, you know, they was just telling me, you know, to just listen to my corner, listen to my dad, you know, and, um, you know, just, just don't worry about the knockouts, you know, the knockouts is going to come within, within, within me boxing, you know, so, like, I just follow that, you know, with what Trinidad said in Kodo. Hey, we're going to do one, let's let him get a question, then I got a phone there. So, I noticed uh, that you seem to say that you was working on your boxing these previous, uh, yeah. in your camp. Yeah. Yeah. Did you work on that, but not like, uh, what's the percentage of versus, uh, like, people said, I forgot his name. Steve Rose. Yeah, Steve Rose. Yeah. You could use your dad much more often. I feel like you would be able to get it. Yeah. Now, yeah. Um. But you gotta remember when I fought Caceres, right? I tore my bicep in the third round. So I was jabbing in the first three rounds. If you look at the first three rounds, I jab. I actually broke his audible bone in three places in October, which they was gonna stop the fight with my left hand. And then, um, you know, like I said, man, coming from an injury like that, bro, it's, it's not easy, man. Like people, a lot of fighters, bro, take a year off of without fighting, without using that arm. And um, I came back within five months. And then, um, you know, I had problems with the Steve Rose fight with my elbow. You know, my, my elbow 
was hurting me tremendously after the second round, you know. So that's another reason why I wasn't really effective with my job, man. But um, you know, thank God, you know, we we, we got through the, you know, through, the, through my trials and tribulations, man. And um, you know, we went through, we got the victory, and that's all that matters. And now I'm focused on this fight, June 11.